Hey, what's up YouTube? TMZ1313 here. Today I just have some cloud edge effect and I want to show you guys. So I got two solar panels, uh, 100 watts each, so 200 watts total. On a clear day with no clouds, I get 130 watts, uh, you know, when it's a little bit hot. So, you know, you lose some efficiency there. But, um, so on a, on a good day, I get about nine amps anything over nine amps is definitely cloud edge effect um or over 130 watts is cloud edge effect and i'm going to get it right here i've been i just seen it peak at 12.8 amps um that could be you know some of the mppt function where it's converting extra voltage into amps but um it's definitely making more power than what it normally does look at that here we go. See if we get anything higher. 11.8 amps. We are getting 163 watts. So that's definitely cloud edge effect. And it's going to go away. Definitely getting good solar when these clouds are passing by. Um, 12 amps. Look at that. 167 watts. That is uh, definitely some good cloud edge effect going on here. Um, my Each of my panels are rated at 5.75 amps. So, I mean, if I'm getting 5 amps from uh, uh, two solar panels in, uh, in series, then you know that I'm getting pretty good. It, I mean, it's... It's... Uh, definitely an effect here uh i'll look at that here it goes again maybe maybe see nope went away all right let's wait for a second we'll see if that cloud peeks through again i can show you some good cloud edge effect going on anyway so what happens here is actually I don't know the real science behind it, but I know the sunlight is going through the clouds and it like it, it like focuses on the ground, and that's what happened. Why you get the cloud edge effect? Um, you you do have to watch out for this when you got your MPPT charge controller or your charge controller uh, basically producing the max it could put out. That cloud edge effect can't push it to its limit and uh, could damage it so you got to take that into account this does happen uh, on cloudy days so you got to be careful about that um, this PWM cut charge controller right here is my old one it's 10 amps max um, here we go 10 amps max I was pushing 12 amps through this when I was getting a um, cloud edge effect and I'm surprised it's still it's still going through, but uh, that's something you should be taking into consideration when you're gonna charge a controller. Don't be don't be pushing it to its max because there's times like this when it's gonna be pushed past the rated solar panels uh, uh, amps, and that could definitely damage it. You know, good ones they they could take a little beating and they could go a little bit past their rated volt uh, amperage. But um, something that you should always take into account when you're doing solar panels is this right here. A lot of people just, uh, believe that this doesn't happen, but it definitely does. So hopefully we get another hole in the uh, clouds and I can show you again um, what it does. I was getting 160 watts out of a 200 watt uh, system. So um, it's perfect timing right now. It's a little bit past high noon. So this is the strongest that the sun's going to be all day. So um, this is a time, if anything, when you're going to get a good, good uh, amperage coming through on these cloudy days like this. <clears throat> Let's see if it does it again. I don't want to make this video too long. But we will stay here and wait. Um, I might want to just take a look out there and see what's going on cloud-wise. Watch the sun peek through. All right, so we got a pretty big cloud going through. Um, I might stick with it just to see what happens at the end right here. But the sun is basically like 
right there. Uh, you know, somewhere around this area. So yeah, I'm gonna stick through because it's gonna go all along this line. So I'm gonna get a good cloud edge effect right here. Can you say hi, Charlotte? Hi. hi. <laughs> okay, let's get this around your. Let's get this off. You shouldn't be playing with this in the first place. Can you say hi to everyone? Hi. Wave, wave, yeah. wave. She is 17 months old. She's such a good girl. I got my other one screaming in the house for me. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, if anything, it should be happening soon. Um, let's see. And I did uh, just... When I got that 12 amps, I was actually getting 12.2. Um, because I am taking out 2 amps. Or 0.2 amps for my fans. And that gets deducted from here. So actually right now I'm making 2.9 amps. Not 2.7 uh, just kind of minuses what you're using. So I'm getting 12.2 amps, which is definitely a cloud edge effect. Hopefully that some peeks through. I want to show you guys again what happens. Um, for you guys that never seen any of my videos, uh, I got four Trojans uh, T605s, black boxes. Um, we got 420 amp hours total. I got a 12 volt system. I got a EP Ever MPPT charge controller. I got a 400 watt modified sound wave inverter that just runs this little mini fridge. Um, I got my fuses over there. My main bus bar, everything connects to that. Uh, mostly my system is all 12, uh, 12 volt uh, stuff. Got 12 volt radio. 12 volt amplifier for my uh, subs. Um, I got a 12 volt ceiling fan, 12 volt lights, um, a lot of 12 volt things. So it is kind of raising up here. Let's see what happens here. Nope, oh, here we go. We'll be getting it soon. I see the light coming. Here we go. About to jump. 11.8. 5.3 amps. Oh, went back down. Should jump back up. It's right out of the edge of that cloud. So we'll stay here and watch it again. There's definitely some more cloud edge effect. Uh, let's see what else happens here. So like I was saying, 130 watts, anything over that is definitely cloud edge effect. When I got a clear sunny day, I get 130 watts out of a 200 watt solar panel system. Um, so anything over that is definitely cloud edge effect. And when you see it hit 5.2 amps, that's definitely a cloud edge effect also. Because um, although my rated voltage for each solar panel is 5.75 amps, you're technically never going to see that. That is like perfect conditions, uh, perfect temperature. And when it's hot out like this, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose um, some of the efficiency out of the solar panel. Uh, so, so what we're gonna do is just wait. Hopefully, you get some more cloud edge effect. Let's see. I'm going to go take a look at that cloud real quick. See what was going on out there. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to call that a quits. Um, I think that's a good video to show you guys what Cloud Edge Effect does. Um, I will talk to you guys later. And if you're if you're wondering how, how to get this uh, in the perfect condition, you want cold weather, which is not that cold out. But you want high noon and cloudy weather. You will get this effect every time. Uh, my man JW Solar. Uh, Solar USA. He uh, 
he he just posted a video on this and i figured i'd make a video also so all right guys i'll talk to you later so like subscribe and i'll see you guys later